والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful all praise is due to Allah Lord of the worlds and may the peace and blessings of Allah be constantly showered upon our beloved prophet Muhammad his family his companions forever i begin with the greeting words of paradise assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was given a vision of the future and even though he was a humble man living in the arabian peninsula over 1400 years ago when there was not great technology there were no planes there were no cars there were no submarines there were no computers there were no cameras there were no televisions or radios but he was given the knowledge of the future and he was able to see even how muslims would fear going close to the day of resurrection these words are inspiration to us and in the most unbelievable or amazing circumstances that we find ourselves in we should still remember the words of the prophet peace be upon him because it is in those strange events that you really see how blessed our prophet peace be upon him was on one occasion a few years ago i was traveling through new york city and in manhattan in visiting one of my friends i woke up in the morning after fajr and heard a large crowd downstairs and i thought it was the workers who were on strike i thought that it could be some youth rebellion and when i went downstairs with my friend i found it was gay pride parade in this time the homosexuals of new york and other parts of america were demonstrating for their rights and my friend and i who were dressed in modest islamic clothing came to a street corner and a man approached us his hair was yellow and looked like a chicken he had on a chain shirt he had a type of metal chain around his his neck net uh in his clothing short pants and high leather boots rings in his ears glowing eyes and he turned to me and he said you're strange i looked at him i looked at my friend and i remembered the words of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam reported by sahal ibn isad with the prophet peace be upon him said verily islam began strange and it will return strange for glad give glad tidings to those who are strange i recall these words immediately we were strange and we were dressed in the style of people who are over one quarter of humanity who have been a part of a strong civilization for the past 1400 years a society that has influenced mathematics geography science and culture and even if you look at the folk culture of mediterranean people the greeks and the romans and the cypriots and many people throughout the world you'll see islamic dress you'll even see in china itself how muslims influence chinese dress all throughout the planet i was dressed like this but i'm strange and the individual with hair like a chicken and a net shirt and short pants and high boots he was the common person he was the good citizen and so sadaqa rasulullah we are living in akhir zaman in the last times and so islam is strange but the prophet peace be upon him said glad tidings to those who are strange and some of the great scholars even said glad tidings of a, of a huge tree in jannah for those who are strange and so it is bushra it is glad tidings of what will come but the hadith does not end there his followers then said to the prophet peace be upon him ya rasulullah wa mal ghuraba o messenger of allah who are the ones who are strange and the prophet peace be upon him answered alladhina yuslihuna and the fasad an-nas they are the people who repair things when the others have become corrupted 
And so Sadaqa Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We are living in the times of corruption where the very identity of an individual, am I a man or am I a woman, it is under question. Where people are looking down on individuals because they want to have a family, because they want to have husband and wife, because they want to live in peace with their children, because they want to eat food with their children in the night and not be caught up in the rat race. They are, look, they are being looked down upon. And so the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the essence of the ghuraba, the strange ones who have been given glad tidings, is not just that they are strange, but it is because they are the ones who repair things. When the corruption has come in, they bring the people back to righteousness. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, if you see evil, change it with your hands. If you can't do this, then say something. If you can't do this, then feel it in your heart, but that is the weakest form of faith. And so today, we are in a world that gives glory and preference to the rich and the famous. We are in a world where the most militarized person, the terrible tyrant, is the one who people look up to. We are in the world where the poor and, and the needy are left out, where the humble are looked as being ignorant ones, where the people who are trying to be modest are looked upon as being backward. But that is an illusion. The real reality is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the East and the West, and that His message will last until the day of resurrection, and that what was good in the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, will still be good today, and will continue to be relevant until the day of resurrection. And so, الَّذِينَ يُسْلِحُونَ عِنْدَ فَسَادَ nas, Those who make islah, those who repair things when the people have become corrupted. People are dying of HIV AIDS. What is the cure for this? It is not to condomize. The cure is to live an Islamic lifestyle. The cure is to live in purity, to purify the body purify the mind, purify the relationships to know the one that you are marrying, to use the principles, the divine principles in finding a mate and in coming together. This is the real cure for HIV AIDS. If we lived in protected families under Sharia, AIDS would not be able to spread. The, the people are dying today because of economic oppression, because the banks are based upon interest and usury. What is the solution? The solution to this corruption is to repair it. The repair is the Islamic system, which is the system based upon cooperation, where no usury or interest is taken. The people today are in a confusion concerning political affairs. What is the solution? The solution is that our leaders should be people who take divine guidance that people do not make the rules themselves, but they look to the Creator for the basis of their rule, and then they are the ones who implement this rule. The, the society today and the whole planet is suffering with an environmental crisis. And this may, may be one of the greatest crises that we will face within this century. And Islam has solutions to this that we should live in this environment realizing that the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was put there as a mercy. Our technology, our striving, our buildings, everything should enhance life. It should beautify the creation and not destroy the creation. If we did this, then the ozone layer, the hole would get smaller. We could take the pollutions out of the rivers out of the seas, out of the air. We could help the wildlife to exist and not become extinct. This is the mercy of Allah, Islah, and we are in need of repair. And I pray that Allah would bring up in this ummah those who would repair us and bring us back to Surat al-Mustaqim. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li walakum 
I say what I have said. I ask Allah to have mercy upon me and you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.